Hello friends, today I'm going to solve lit code problem number 134, gas station. In this problem, we are given two arrays, a gas array and a cost array. So a gas array represents the amount of gas present in the ith station. So if we are at index i, then the amount of gas in the ith station is gas of i. And similarly, cost i represents the uh, cost in terms of gas to travel from i station to i plus one station so now what we need to do is uh, we need to find if we could travel from one gas station in a clockwise direction and reach the gas station again so basically we need to find a starting gas station and then travel all the stations in a circular way in a clockwise direction and then return the starting gas station and if we are not able to uh, travel all the gas stations because the cost might be very high than the gas we have um, in that case we will return minus one and the solution is uh, if the solution exists it's guaranteed and unique and now let's see how we could solve this problem. So we are given this example here. Now let's see. Guess uh, this is at index 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And basically, similarly, this is index 0, 1, 2, okay, 3, and 4, right? So at index 0, uh, what's the amount of gas that's at index? gas station one one right so basically what we can do is i have my car okay so this is my car just <laughs> pardon me for my bad drawing so this is my car and i fill the tank of my car with one unit of gas so i fill my car with all of this gas now i need to travel from this to this in clockwise direction means well, well, how would it be if I arrange all of these values in the clockwise direction then that this would be the one so I can only move in these directions so what I do is okay so basically I now move to station 2 but to go to station 2 what do I need I need three units of gas but I only have one unit of gas, right? So can I reach station 2 by with only one unit of gas? Of course not. We need three units of gas. So I'm not able to reach from 1 to 2. So what I do is now this word 1 cannot be my starting position. So I start from index 2, index 1. That is this station which has gas of amount uh, two units so now my tank is filled with two units of gas and to move from this to the next station how much do i need i need four again i cannot i only have two units of gas so i can again not reach from this gas station so what i do is i start from this one so can announce i have three units of gas and to move from this station to the next station again i need five units of gas which i do not have it so i can this is also not my starting point and then again i start from the next gas station which is this one and now my tank is filled with four units of gas and from this station to reach the next station what's the cost it's only one unit of gas right so I can consume one unit of gas from this and I'll be left with three units of gas and from this I can reach this station and once I reach this station what I can do is I can fill my tank with all the gases that's available at the station so the amount of gas remain uh, that my tank will have is now is equals to uh, eight eight right five plus three eight so now i have uh eight uh, um okay eight units of gas in my tank 
okay so now i have eight units of gas so i started from this station i moved to this station now i have eight units of gas from this i need to move in clockwise direction right so where do i reach i reach gas station one so i reach this station and to reach this station basically what's the cost it's two right the cost is two and how much do i have i have eight right this is the amount that i have so i can reach from here to here by consuming two units of gas so the remaining units of gas will be equals to six and again i collect this gas so i'll add that value to my uh tank and now i'll have seven units of gas now from uh this to this from this station to reach this station again what do i need i need three units right so i still have more than three units so the remaining would be four units and then again once i reach here i add these also to my gas so my total gas amount is equals to three now from uh, this to this how much do i need again i need four units so i again have more than four units so i consume four units and the remaining is two units and then uh I reach uh, three and then I collect the gas at station three so now remaining gas in my tank is equals to five so to reach from three to four how much gas do I need three to four right which is this value here so I need five units of gas and I do have five units of gas right so I consume all the gases and the remaining amount is equals to zero so basically this is how we will be solving this problem so we could solve this problem using a brute force approach that is a for loop so we start from one index and we see we check if the amount in our tank is greater than than or equals to the cost to reach the next station then we move to the next station if not then we start from uh, the next station and keep on repeating the same thing so we will do it in a for loop but um, that would be uh, that would take us time because we start from each station so we start from station zero we iterate through all through and uh, through four and then uh, in each of these again we are checking uh, like we traverse until and unless we are able to find uh, reach the same station if not we uh, we are not able to reach the station so we break so basically we are doing o of n squared complexity becomes of n squared so we could also do it in O of n time complexity using two pointers. So how could we solve this? So what do we do is we take two pointers, a start pointer and an end pointer. So this is our starting uh, point and this is our end point. So we start from uh, station 5 and we end at this station. So now what do we do is we calculate the sum of these two values. Basically the difference that is we have gas 5 and uh, and by consuming this amount of gas we know we could reach this station right. So we could reach this station. So if this value is positive, is positive, then this means that from station 5, we are able to reach this station, right, in a clockwise duration. If that is negative, which means that we cannot reach this station, so what do we do is um, our we move forward uh, one station. So we start from here because we are not able to reach that station, next station. So we start from here. But if we are able, if that's positive, which means that, let me just draw the clock so that you could visualize it. So what's happening is I'm starting from this and this is my end position. So this is my start and this is my end. And the cost to reach from here to here is what's the cost? This is the cost, right? So the cost to reach is equals to 2. 
and if this value 5 minus 2 is positive which means that i can reach from station 5 i can reach station 2 uh, this is station right so this is my start and this is my end now since i'm able to reach here what happens is now my end um uh, end should basically my target is to now reach the next stop right so my end stop becomes this one and what I do is now, um, how much do I have in my tank? 5 minus 2 is equals to 3. And then I collected this value. So 1, 1 minus what's the value to reach the next station? Uh, this is station. It is equals to 3, right? So the cost is equals to 3. So this is minus 2 here. And the cost here is equals to minus 3. So... Uh, that would be 1 minus 3 and this value would be added to the resulting uh, value in our tank so 3 plus 1 minus 3 is equals to 1 right so what's what's it it's positive value so again we move to the next one and then similarly we do the same thing again but if it is not the positive value which means that uh, this is not the start position so we shift our start position to the previous one and we do the same with the start position as well so that is how we will do now let's try to write our code okay so that's the land and now let Start equals to n minus one and let um and equals to zero. So now while start is greater than equals to end because we need to move in a circular position and we want to start to start from the start unless we have reached the end, right? So if okay, what do we also need to do is we need to take the sum of value at gas so what's the value at start index minus the cost to reach the end that is at this point so if the sum is greater than or equals to zero that is if it's positive then we uh, increment our end right so what do we do is first of all we fill our gas with okay so instead of some uh, gas in tank all right so if our tank is greater uh, the gas in our tank is greater than or equals to zero which means that we can reach the next stop on um, our end so now our end must be incremented but before that uh, we need to collect the um, the gas in that in that position right so i collect the gas in that position and then to reach the next stop next station i subtract the cost to reach the next station and then i increment this value because now i have reached the next station else what do i do is I do the same thing but now I will do it with my start position and then I decrement my start so finally uh, once the loop is complete we will return our start index and that will be our value okay so something is wrong all right so e here if sum is greater than equals to zero then we return the start position else we return a minus one because then we are not able to uh, reach in a circular manner uh, what's wrong here Ah, oh, we do not have the sum. Okay. 
okay we need to do this first because we have already done that here right we started from that thing so we move the start and then we change our value cool let's submit it great so the time complexity here is o of n because we are only going through the while loop once 